you're busy with like this amazing record that I'm very excited about. I got to sing on it. I got to sing on it. And I'm very excited to be able to hear it because I only got to hear the songs you let me hear that I was singing on. So I'm, and then I got the record and I just literally, you never fail to impress me with like your voice. It's insane. Like literally, like it's insane Thank how you talented you are. Like your record is amazing, and you know what I love about it is you stick to country music. It sounds like country music. Well, it's we what I, it's what I grew up on. I mean, it's what I love. It's the music that I was influenced by. I'm a big Lena Ronstadt fan, and yes. you know that stuff has fiddles and mm -hmm. steel guitars all over it. She crossed um, genres. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was really cool. Totally. So I'm I'm not a traditional country singer, but I definitely fall in the country category. And I just want to tell you guys, when Kelly came in to sing on the record, I, I've been asked about this in every interview I've been doing this week about the album release. I'm like. I'm like, what is it about Kelly? I'm like, she's not real. Like, she's not normal. Like, she's just amazing. <laughs> she's crazy. And she comes in and she just, you know, I hear this high, strong harmony, and I know I'm not going to sing it. And I'm like, Kelly, can you come over and do this for me? And it's just amazing what you bring. And I know you could probably, everyone you sing with, you make them sound better, but I love our voices together. Oh my God. I, I do love too. singing with you. Yeah, let's do more. Let's do more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's funny is actually the first time we got to record together was Prize Fighter. And I got there and I had no idea that her husband was gonna be like producing it. <laughs> and I was like, uh... <laughs> and I got in the studio and I'll tell you, I've never been more nervous about sounding good because I was like, you're there already, that was nerve wracking enough. And then your husband who's, you know, Garth freaking Brooks walks in and he's like... <laughs> and I'm, and literally, he, he was producing me. I was peeing my pants. I was like, this is the worst. But anyway, he I was trolling my session to try to get you to work with him. Oh That's totally gosh. what he was doing. He, <laughs> well, I was, I was literally about to die because I was so nervous, both of you. I mean, it's just admit, you're just such this power couple and it's like, uh. Oh, please. If you go and, back and listen to the Enterprise fight, I don't know if you remember this, at the end we were, there were these licks at the end and so we were kind of doing these answers to each other and I remember that I had done something and you went in and then you did your lick and I'm like, let me go back in there. Like, give me another <laughs> shot at it. And so I went back in and did it again and Kelly said, let me go back in there and go another shot. I, I was very nervous. You, but it was, amazing. But he's actually really cool. I was worried, does he ever crash your girls' nights? Does he? He doesn't. Because he he's, seems funny. He's like a that. little afraid of that many women together, so he really doesn't, like, he will, but if he is, if he's around, he'll open the wine, but he really wants to be gone. Like, he'd rather be, like, I think it scares him a little bit, as, really? as it should, you know. Real, women, a bunch of women. Yeah. yeah, and here's something else about you men. <laughs> no, he doesn't, yeah. It's like a designing women episode. <laughs> totally like You're writing everything. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, so I know that whenever you cook sometimes, you're a fabulous cook. She is, I've gone at her house, she makes stuff. She's, and she gives you wine. It's the most amazing experience. But one thing I found out actually was the fact that when, he cooks sometimes, right? Garth cooks sometimes? Okay. And he has, he's like very like perfectionist at it, right? He's usually pretty good, right? He's pretty good. I wouldn't say perfectionist. He doesn't follow a recipe. He's pretty much like, will throw things together that maybe go together and then he thinks it's fabulous and takes a picture of it. <laughs> I call him Gartha Stewart because oh, he's, <laughs> He's very That's proud. What I, was to, I love that you call him Gartha Stewart. He's very proud. Like, look, I made this sandwich. I took a picture of it. I'm like, that's awesome, honey. Like, you're, yeah, and you're like, meanwhile, you're like, look, I have a cooking show and I'm badass at it. Well, but I'll, I'll be like, I'll be like, can you open this jar of pickles? He's like, well, I have my own cooking show. I'm like, really seriously? Like, <laughs> Stay in your lane, Gartha. <laughs> right. No, I just found that amazing. I found that amazing. So here's the thing. I love. The Every Girl, like tell me why you chose that name for your record, that song, like tell me, where did Every Girl come from? The truth is I that, love it. thank you very much. The truth is, well you are Every Girl. The truth <laughs> is that um, I went in to make a record for fun. I'm 54 years old, I'm a woman. My expectations of what was gonna happen with this record were not super high. <laughs> so I just was like, I just wanna make a record I love. And I wasn't thinking about singles, I wasn't thinking about radio. That's at what all, we should be doing. which is what we should be doing. If you want to call yourself an artist, you make art, and that's what you do. That's what, mm -hmm. and then you figure out what to do with it. And this song was one of the first ones I heard, and I just liked it. I like what it said. It basically, it has a line that says, "You got this, baby. So what if you don't?" I love that line because it's like we're always trying to be so perfect, and mm -hmm. it's really nice when we're told it's okay to not be perfect. Yeah. Um, and then it just kind of, and when my team heard it, they're like, "This, we're going to radio, and this is the song." And I've been more shocked than anybody that's getting played on the radio, which it is. So I'm, 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 I'm like, uh, yeah. I'm like, that's what I love about your record. It sounds country. It's what it's supposed to be like. And honestly, in this time in country music, like I grew up in the '90s, like it's like listening to music. So like there were so many of y'all. There were so many great right. like country women. And like right now, it's hard just to be a woman to get played on country music. And then you're saying, oh, I'm 54. It's hard to do that at 54 right, to get right. played. So it's, it's like all these layers of. And I don't understand exactly. that either because people think, well, maybe country music's just behind. But in the '90s, there were so many female artists. Oh my gosh, I could name a plethora. Yeah. 
So what happened? I, I have this conversation all the time with all the girls I know, like all the girls I know in country music. I'm like, what's happening? I think it's like, my fault. I left town. I moved to Oklahoma. Uh, yeah, yeah. Why years. did you ruin it? Why did you ruin <laughs> it? I ruined everything. No, I. It is. It is. I went I, when I moved to Oklahoma to, and married Garth, and we raised the girls. And then when we came back, I was shocked. I was like. What has happened? There's I don't, like I don't, two that are played. Right, and I don't really know the answer. I do know that living in Nashville now, the girls have kind of banded together, mm -hmm. and it's been really cool to see generationally, like the young girls who grew up on She's in Love with a Boy, and then my generation, and then we've got Reba and Loretta. Mm -hmm. Everybody's kind of this girl club, and the conversation is now being had out loud and loudly. Yeah. And, the, and the men in our industry who support that, like like Garth and Blake and, the, and mm -hmm. Luke, who've spoken out about it, that's when change happens. So I think right now everybody's just being really loud. Um, the CMAs this year are going to be hosted by three women for the first time in the history of the Isn't CMAs. It, is, is it Carrie with Reba and Dolly? Yeah. 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 And it isn't against the men. It's not no. saying that. It's just saying it's just saying we're here. We're not going yeah. anywhere. But let's team up. Let's make beautiful music. Let's make something happen. I will not stop talking until you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's right. And I can talk a lot. Seriously, not going to stop. Yep, still here. Not going anywhere. I see you. Don't walk away from this.